Okay, welcome to SketchUp Camp. The first thing we're going to do is we need to get connected to um, uh, SketchUp uh, and uh, Google Drive. So we want to connect the uh, Google Drive and SketchUp, so we're going to save our files into uh, Google Drive. So this is going to be really easy. We're going to go here to uh, New, and under the uh, uh, More menu, we're going to go down to um, Connect More Apps. And uh, usually SketchUp is, shows up right there. If it doesn't show up right at the top of the list, then uh, you can um, you can go into the search bar and search for it. SketchUp for Schools right there. And we're clicking on it, and I'm going to click Install. And Continue. And it's going to want to verify your Google account. And you, you're already logged in, so you just have to click on your name. And it uh, says SketchUp wants to access your Google account. So this is going to be OK. I'm clicking on allow and we should get another window here okay and it's saying where to find Google uh, uh, SketchUp for Google's telling us where to find it for uh, SketchUp for schools it's under the uh, application menu here or the waffle click on next and we can do complete additional setup now this is just user uh, the end user license you don't need to click on that and we're click done and I'm going to close this panel I'm going to go to the apps menu and scroll down and here is uh, uh, SketchUp for Schools. It's going to open in a new tab. It's probably going to ask for permissions to uh, sign into Google again. Yep, it wants to do that again. I'm going to click on my name again um, and here we're giving it access and we're reconfirming. So it's a couple different steps that we're doing this. Um, but here you notice before it was just asking for your Google account details. Now it's giving being explicit with things on Drive and Google Classroom. Um, my students in my sixth grade class, we use this stuff in conjunction with Google Classroom all the time. Um, you, if you're on your Chromebook, you're going to maybe have to scroll down to see the Allow button. So um, you want to scroll down on the screen to hit Allow. It might be cut off. I've got a bunch of stuff in here already, some other files from, from previous work that we have in here. Um, we're going to go here to new, uh, new document, and we're going to use uh, feet and inches. And this is a uh, you know, brand new document. And now we're, we're connected, and we've got a new file started. And just some basics here, if I'm going to say, um, I'm going to click on the name to give it a name here. And we're just going to say um, sketch up. Camp demo one, and the other thing that we're going to need to do here is we got to give a, a place to save. And a lot of folks will go into uh, SketchUp if you want to make a new file or, or put it someplace. You're going to have to put it into a folder. It won't let us save to the root directory of your Google Drive, unfortunately. I'm just going to click on Classroom. A lot of people go into class, save their stuff in the classroom in my sixth grade. If you want to create a folder for for Camp ahead of time, you can do that. Um, and then you have to hit the select down here. Sometimes I have students who make a mistake and they, they back out of this or they hit cancel and without realizing that they haven't saved their file. So you need to select a place to put this stuff and hit uh, and, and, and do that, okay? And just remember that where, where, you're, where you're putting it. Um, um, this will save as you go. Uh, if you make a change, um, you could hit uh, save if you want to there before you close the window, but it, it, it'll save for you every few minutes. There's some other options here. We can go new right here from this folder, open, save as, uh, insert another file. We got some export options. Uh, you can save a graphic. That's what the PNG is, would be a 2D graphic to your computer um, if you wanted to have an easy way to print something out. Um, this STL is a good one for 3D printing. It says right there in the tip, this is a file that I download when I'm doing 3D printing for um, my sixth grade students. So there's a couple of uh, options there. On occasion, we get a, we get a, a, an error uh, saving to Google Drive, and so just as a precaution, we will download the file to our Chromebooks locally just to make sure we preserve uh, a copy of it um, in case if, if it, this is giving us fits and not trying to save. So we got some options there. Um, in the next demo, I'm going to show you guys some basics of these tools and how to draw some stuff, but uh, that's how you get connected to uh, uh, SketchUp for Schools uh, through uh, Google Drive.